Bobby Halliday here with the Hit Network. I'm back in the showroom and I want to talk about the music recording studios that are going here in the showroom. This is going to be a massive undertaking. It's going to take me and at least two other guys a couple months, if not as many as six months, to create these things. We've been doing a lot of research on how to design the walls in order to keep the music inside these rooms and not flow out and into another recording studio. With a lot of research and science, we have determined that the walls are gonna be about this thick, maybe a little bit more, full of a bunch of different materials and the floor actually has to come off of this showroom floor, just raised up a little bit in order to put some other materials like insulation and sound dampening in the floor. We have to create a sound barrier between this studio and that wall uh, that's gonna be pretty thick, so that closet's now in the way. Um, I guess we'll just destroy it. So these two music recording studios have now turned into one, a more functional and bigger space. It's gonna go to about that beam right there. That's in the way, that's in the way, that's in the way too. We're gonna have to get rid of these tiles too. So today me and Hudson are going to Woodstock. We're gonna tour another music recording studio and get some advice uh, from somebody that's done this before. Am I in the studio build vlog? Yep. This guy knows everything there is to know about recording studios. Almost to the point where he can like get overly technical with the whole thing. Good. No, it's, it's, it's amazing. So you and him having a conversation is gonna be exactly what the hit that means. Nice, uh, I'll be a sponge. Yeah, we're welcome to the channel. We're about to take a PP in this fresh studio. Uh, we're also going to do some tests. We're going to bang on a snare drum and see if we can hear it. We learned so much from this guy, so I brought all that information back to the factory and I started working on some designs uh, down to the, the exact thickness of the walls, the dimensions of the rooms, um, cable management and how data is going to pass from one room to the next. We also want to make sure that the sound that is contained also sounds good. This is the design of the floors. This is the design of the walls. This is the design of the ceiling. It still looks like it's gonna be a super expensive project, but I'm pretty confident that if we do this right for the music recording studios, then we won't have to go all out for the podcast studios and the gaming studios that are right next door. We're gonna figure out how to contain all of this loud music in the music recording studios so it won't mess with other recordings that are happening next door. It also won't disrupt the office work that is happening in the back of the building. So you'll be able to come into this music recording studio, make all the noise you want, you'll be able to beat on snare drums, play music really loud, scream at the top of your lungs, and no one's gonna hear you. I'm going into this understanding that things can change, but for now, all the dimensions and stuff have to be written down on paper and sent to an architect so that they can draw up some official plans and get those plans approved by the city. Everything still has to be done to code even though this is super specialty stuff. And we want to do this the right way because it is very expensive so there's a lot less room for error. In other news, I was able to change out all the light bulbs in Studio B so that it's an even color temperature. And they also fixed the roof so there will be less rivers and lakes inside the studio. That's all I got for now, but I want to hear from you. Leave a comment, ask questions, make suggestions, and starting next month, things are going to be moving so rapidly that you will not have time to watch all the content that we're about to create.